guys, one more time, huh? And I'm back with one more video and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And in this video, I was thinking about the Olympic Games in 2024 from France, Paris. And now I'm old man, but when I was a young boy, there used to be so much excitement around Olympic, Olympic Games. It was so much anticipated, like we as the children, I remember. In Olympic year, we used to be excited about the Olympic Games and look forward to it, to watch opening ceremony, watch the events on TV, television. And sometimes we had a black and white television in early days. So we watch it on black and white TV and then we used to imagine how beautiful it would look in like the opening ceremony. We used to imagine how beautiful it would look in color TV. I remember those days. But now with the Paris France Olympic, I don't feel any buzz like in the previous Olympic game even in Japan and in Brazil. Olympic games are losing, it seems they're losing their significance. The Olympic champions used to be world famous heroes, but now I don't, I can tell you, I can't name many Olympic champions from last, last Olympic games. So I don't know why it is so, maybe it is because it's just me because of my age, or is it everywhere? All around the world, everyone is feeling the same way. I don't know, but I'm just sharing my thoughts, and I also think some of things that have, you know, how how esports and track and field and other also other esports have evolved. But like there is too much. Uh, um, what should I say? Like sports is sports, you are trying to make it entertainment and sports are automatically entertainment by default. There is no need to add extra stuff like now how when they introduce to athletes on track. Like each one comes out to music and uh, I don't know what the need is for that. You can just walk out on the track and then they can introduce you like when you are standing on the track they can introduce you in lane number one Mr. So and so in lane number two Mr. This and that that way in, like it used to happen in early days. Now when they walk out of uh, you know dressing room or the tunnel whatever they call it uh, when they walk into the stadium and they announce on light we speaker and the music plays and then either fireworks or graffiti not graffiti confetti so i don't know what that is or what they're trying to do but i, I think the, all of that is that has no like uh, no value is being added it is not even it gets old you know maybe one or two time in the beginning it was okay but now it's, uh, it's useless you know it makes the event too long, people will lose interest, like a 100 meter race, it is a 10 second race, race but the build up is like a half an hour, so what is the use, what is the point of all that, I don't understand. Um, and in Olympic game track and field is of course, uh, what they say is like the highlight, but other sports also like swimming, uh, cycling, uh, these are relevant sports, weightlifting, uh, um, and gymnastics. These are these are like these are uh, main sports for uh, that we only watch during uh, Olympic Games. Archery, like not uh, archery, also shooting, also, and then that is the one sport uh, fencing. They call fencing with a sword fighting. They are very dangerous sport. So these are good sports for uh, Olympics. I don't know about uh, how uh, horse is back riding uh, that they call equestrian. I don't understand that sport. Uh, and my view on uh, sports where there is like judging system, I don't consider them really sports because uh, in judging, you know, there is, even though there is criteria, but then different judges can uh, interpret that criteria differently. And then, uh, you know, there is like, there is, 
As a fan, it is hard for you know, to really understand that sport like gymnastics. It is based on points, but those points are awarded by judges. Now, as a as a viewer, as a watcher, I can appreciate someone doing somersault and backflip. But then, uh, how do I rate the, if someone did better back flip than other guys? They are at such high level, it is almost all the same. Some people get 9.9 .9 and some people get 10. So what is that point one difference? I don't understand. So uh, those sports is similarly in diving. Uh, those sports I don't really... And those are really not sports. Like in weightlifting, you lift heavy weight. You someone lift a 10 kilo, other guy lift 11 kilo. So you know, 11 kilo is more than 10 kilo. So it is a cut and dry, straightforward. You don't have to do any kind of analysis. Just straightforward. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, guys, what uh, event are you guys looking forward to in this Olympic? I don't think uh, games like football and uh, tennis uh, or even golf. I don't know if golf is in Olympic or not. But these are not really Olympic sport for tennis. Grand Slam is main thing for golf. There I have the uh, golf is a stupid sport, anyways. Who cares? Anyway, guys. Uh, and uh, so which events are you looking forward to? I always used to look forward to uh, track and field 100, 200, uh, relays, uh, high jump, long jump. All these were great events. And this year also I'm looking forward to 100, 200 in mains. Uh, maybe we will see no I will say do well. And um, hopefully we'll have good Olympics. Like last uh, Olympic, Marcel Jacob won uh, from Italy, won the gold medal in 100 meters. But he's not a big name compared to uh, these American guys, uh, Lyles and uh, some other guys from America. Uh, we will see what happens. I hope uh, this is good Olympics. I hope it is uh, safe every for everyone. Uh, and uh, hopefully we will see some record, world record fall and uh, hope it is entertaining but maybe once city starts maybe then uh, things will um, you know then maybe I can talk about some events and recap with you but guys if you if you follow Olympics if you